Hey folks, thank you so much for tuning in. You're watching The Buzz. And today we are talking about the Tesla Model 3 and Sub-Zero temperatures and the impact this weather had on my battery. Let's get started. Hey, good morning everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And today we are going to test the Model 3 and Sub-Zero temperatures. We have been... Uh, having highs in the minus 10s, 20s, 30s, and 40s with wind chill factors uh, well above that. So today I am making my way into work and uh, the car's been parked in the garage all night. Um, it had uh, just stopped charging about 25 minutes before I had left. I have preheated a vehicle for about 15 minutes now and I have already lost about nine miles of range Starting off the day with 277 miles, and I'm going to flip it around here and show you what we have right now before I pull out of the garage. Um, but today we have a high of minus 19 with a wind chill of about minus 32. So the car is going to be sitting in an open lot this morning um, once I pull into work, and hopefully we'll have some battery range left when we come out. But really the test is, yeah, we've done tests in 20 and 30 and 10 degree weather, but I'm not sure if anybody has done any testing in this kind of um, sub-zero temperature. So we're going to find out what the Model 3 does and how it acts um, in this in this temperature. Um, Preheating is going to be key um, to get the car at least warmed up interior-wise and battery-wise before you pull this thing out of the lot um, and drive it away. So we're going to see what the weather does to this thing. And uh, let's flip it around here so I can show you the screen and the current temperature and the current range. Okay, so we have a current temperature of 7 degrees. It is 6.16 a.m. in the morning. Yes, I am running late. Um, 267 miles when I was uh, got into the car this morning before I preheated. It was at 277. Um, so about 10 miles of range loss. And again, today it is going to be brutal. Let's uh, bring up my web browser here. And let's get into the forecast. Let's turn this off. All right, so minus 20 and rising. It is going to be a clear sky today. Um, winds aren't going to be so bad, so I don't think that wind chill is going to get um, down into the 30s like they say it's going to, but they say a high of 5 degree, a low of minus 20, um, and yesterday was absolutely horrible. Come on, focus in there. There we go. And tomorrow we're going to be a high of 25, so it's going to be a welcome sight for tomorrow. Um, can't wait for that, but uh, there you have it. So let's let's get this uh, car on the road and see what we find and have at the end of the day. I'm going to give you some snippets of what Tesla had recommended that you do as a Tesla Model 3 owner to preserve the battery in these cold temperatures. Tesla recommends that we preheat or precondition our battery along with our cabin. You can simply do this by opening up your app and turning on your heat. Tesla recommends that you do this one hour before you decide to leave. Tesla recommends that while you are preheating your cabin and battery, you continue to have the vehicle charging. This way you do not diminish any of the range due to preheating the cabin and battery. Minus 15 degrees, that's without the wind chill. Uh, battery is already cold, which doesn't really make sense because it just came off the charger before I left the house. And yes, the heat is on. You can see the windows are, are icing up, so it's going to be a bit of a task to try and keep those uh, uh, visible through the drive-in this morning. So it is on high right now. I just had the uh, defroster on to help me uh, defrost the windows a little bit. So this should be interesting, so stay tuned. Okay, so we made it, and it has not been a good drive-in. So 167 miles, and I had 277 to start, so 100 miles uh, for a 52.9 mile commute. Took an hour and six minutes at 434 watt hours a mile. Um, yeah, the car had a hard time. Take a look at my window here, and actually, um, the odd thing is, is it is this whole side of the car and even in the back window 
um, just the ice just kept on building up on the windows. And of course, some of that is to the body heat um, of my, you know, me being in the seat. But even with the defrost blasting, the car had a very, very hard time um, breaking that ice down. So I think it's a little bit more than just my body heat. I think that there could be some uh, wind uh, getting through or some air getting through these windows. But the passenger side was completely fine, minus that back window a little bit, uh, but nothing in the rear. So, yeah, this should be an interesting day today. So right now, uh, minus 14 degrees, and it is going to stay that way at least until noon today. It's supposed to start warming up. But, yeah, just, the, the you know, the watt hours a mile and just the the use of the heat just, just killed the car today. Uh, but I didn't have a choice. You know, the windows in this kind of weather always want to freeze up and fog up. So I pretty much had the heat on. Really, the last mile, I cranked it up to high just because this window was just getting, you know, this line was all the way down here, and it was getting a little bit difficult to see, so I had to get that thing defrosted. But uh, we're going to let this car sit idle here for the day, and when we get back, we're going to see what is left on the battery range and see if we can uh, hopefully make it home. I at least need 100 miles, so hopefully we don't lose 67 miles today while the car's sitting idle. But uh, stay tuned. We're going to find out. Okay, folks, so welcome back. We have ended our day. It is about uh, 20 after 4, and we have a total loss of about 34 miles of range during the idle time, which I thought, hey, that's not actually that bad considering. Now, I did start preheating this car about 10 minutes to 4, so it's been preheating for about 30 minutes, and um, I lost about you know, five or six miles doing that, but for the most part, not too bad. So let me flip this thing around and let, let me uh, show you what range we have left. And yeah, we're going to make it home. So I feel pretty good about that. Um, but still some pretty, um, pretty significant loss today. Um, so the cold weather, the sub-zero temperature um, certainly did not kill my Tesla Model 3. It is, is still alive and, and running just fine. So let's flip this out and um, we're going to look at the range now, but I'm also going to do a short clip when I get home to see what kind of uh, range we burn on the reverse commute. Okay, so there you have it, 132 miles. We do have a snowflake, so hopefully I will be able to gain some range back once the car actually warms up. And look at that, that battery is ice cold, even though I did preheat um, the interior, which feels great in here. Um, temperature says minus 2, um, but I think it's a little bit colder than that still yet, but nowhere near as cold it was uh, this morning. And again, there is a picture of the watt hours and miles and time used today. And I'm going to do that on a reverse trip here so we can compare and contrast and see uh, what kind of range we lose on the reverse commute. Okay, folks, so I just made it home, and you're not going to believe the range loss that I have experienced uh, during this commute today. It's pretty astonishing. Over 60% of my available range today was lost in other methods other than driving. So whether it's using the heater or just trying to keep the battery warm or whatever it is, but 60% of the available mileage that I had today in my car was lost in some other fashion other than driving, which is actually a little disturbing, if you will, please. Um, I just, you know, we all understand that the car's not perfect. Electric vehicles um, are much different than combustion engines, gas vehicles, whatever you want to call them. Um, and this is just one part of owning an EV. And I get that. I understand it totally and completely. But I didn't anticipate this kind of range loss. So what I'm going to do, flip it around. I'm going to show you. And then another message just popped up as well um, that I think you would be interested in seeing um, for this test as well. So let's take a look. Okay, so there you have it. 48 miles of range left. Okay, so my watt hours a mile, uh, there we go. 378 was much better than it was this morning. I was at 423 watt hours a mile this morning. I did have the heat pretty much on the entire way, but only at 76, and the fan was only set to 2. Again, it is still 0 degrees out, so it is cold. It's not like I'm just cranking the heat and, 
you know, in 30 or 40 degree weather. It is still fairly cold, so, you know, the heat and the, the butt warmer was certainly necessary. But take a look at this. So for my reverse commute, or for my entire commute today, it was 105 miles um, with a total of 406 watt hours. I have 47 miles left of range. And look at this note that I got. Battery low. There will be significant loss, uh, less energy available from your battery if it gets colder. We recommend charging now. So, yes, the battery never warmed up the entire duration of the 52-mile trip um, on my reverse commute today. So, um, I'm hoping there's some additional range in there. But, man, losing 60% of your range is just, that is a lot. And I'm not sure what Tesla can do. Um, but if you have any suggestions or comments as far as, you know, what I did wrong, which, you know, hey, I, I really don't know what I did wrong driving. I mean, I, I was definitely keeping um, within a speed limit. I wasn't going too crazy. I did have the heat on. But th this is just normal driving, folks. This is nothing um, out of the ordinary. And obviously, it has a lot to do with the cold. And I just wonder if there is something that Tesla can do um, with an update or something to help um, with this cold weather. Now, typically we don't see these sub-zero temperatures like this, um, but it is not out of the ordinary to see temperatures um, hover around 10 degrees below zero for a period of time, or even at zero or in the low teens. So there is certainly some, um, you know, weather impact to this, this range capacity. But I think, you know, if Tesla can do something, I certainly think that they should, um, especially for the folks in the colder climates, obviously. But please comment down below. Let me know if you've been part of this, this Arctic blast that's come through uh, the Midwest and the eastern um, portion of the country. What have you been doing? What have what range have you been seeing? Um, am I just uh, the exception to the norm or has everybody pretty much been seeing the same thing? So, you know, comment down below and please, folks, if you like the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're really trying to get to a thousand uh, subscribers and we would truly appreciate you joining the community and partaking in our conversation. So we truly appreciate um, interaction with everybody. It's it's great knowledge for the community and it's fun sharing. So we truly appreciate it, folks. Have a great night.